hey, what about slavery? And I raise the issue of slavery because anybody who watches the show knows that it's my go-to argument. It's the one that's most obviously immoral and most clearly endorsed. Just yesterday, I, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday, wow, need sleeps. Uh, just yesterday I was at University of Texas lecturing to a class and after it was over, I've done two debates with a guy by the name of Cliff Connectley at Texas State. And he happened to be at UT Austin preaching, uh, although for some reason he doesn't want to debate me again. Maybe it's because I'm that condescending asshole guy, I don't know. Um, and when we had this debate at the Church of Christ and I brought up slavery, we went, we went through this again. And I heard several different explanations from several different preachers. One of them said, well, this was the norm at the time, and God was implementing laws about slavery to soften slavery so that we would eventually realize that slavery was wrong and get rid of it. He's God! If he can tell you don't kill people and don't eat shrimp, certainly he can say don't own people as property. How hard was that? What kind of weak-ass, tiny God do you believe in that he can't tell you to stop owning people? Well, he was actually trying to do the right thing because all these heathen, this was the only way that they could come to the true understanding of God was for the Jews to go over there and enslave them so that they could teach them about Yahweh more. I mean, I know that the Old Testament's a comedy of his failures where everything goes wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong until eventually he's just down to, oh, okay, this, I'm gonna take this one little family and I'm gonna turn it into my preferred tribe and it's still gonna go wrong, by the way. Spoiler alert, everything goes wrong for God all the way through the book. And yet somehow he thinks it's a good idea. Hey, these other people here who are not my chosen people, but I'd really like them to believe in me. Why don't we enslave them? and then we can teach them about me. Go on, Moses, go do that. <laughs> this is the type of tap dancing that you get when you engage in people who cannot acknowledge that the Bible might be endorsing something that's immoral, that they might be believing in something that doesn't have good reason. 